welcome to another episode of talk with trisha and it is my helpful self trisha please if you're new you're watching for the first time i'm saying welcome to the family kindly click on the subscribe button yes click and of course check our previous episodes so that okay, you know guys. you will not only start the episode of the program i'll okay, be guys. talking about red flags in relationships yes i know we all know what relationship is all about and we'll be wondering red flags red flags well guys the relationship i'm gonna be the red flags in relationships i'm talking about is the signs the dangers or symptoms when i say symptoms <laughs> okay basically the signs that will let you know that oh the relationship you're in is not heading anywhere like something is actually wrong somewhere and the relationship i'm talking about is the kind of relationship whereby you are emotionally attached to someone like boyfriend girlfriend you're dating you're courting not the kind of family relationship or work relationship because yes relationship is broad okay so very quickly let's move to the red flags one of the red flags in a relationship is what i call the one word statement yes that's a situation whereby your partner begins to reply your messages with just a statement Take for instance, when you guys are communicating, whenever you're chatting, you always, like for instance, you say, hello, how are you? And he, he will reply you with, I'm fine, how are you? But all of a sudden, when you say, how are you? The reply you get is, fine. How was work today? Fine. Any gist? No. Then you should know that something is actually wrong somewhere. Next red flag has to do with temper, being temperament. He or she suddenly becomes agitated or angry over slight issues. Things that are not supposed to get him or her worked up. He or she becomes angry or agitated over those things, you know. Easily gets upset for no reason. The next red flag is being unnecessarily busy. Yes, this take it or leave it is also a red flag in a relationship. When your partner, for one reason or the other, begins to give you excuses for not meeting up with you or for not um, seeing you as planned, and the excuse he or she gives to you is that he or she has been busy. Trust me, you've been busy once, twice, but being busy countless times, it's not good in a relationship. Okay, viewers, as you have heard, a whole lot of things can actually attribute to your relationship not working out but like they say or like the saying a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage so if the relationship doesn't end well you don't need to kill yourself out. all you just need to do is look inward find out if the fault is from you or from your partner and you know just try to put yourself together and look at the brighter side of life rather than get bored and lock yourself in I can actually, I, I, I understand the fact that it can actually be difficult, it can be so so hard for you to overcome heartbreak, especially when you're so attached to the this person, from me for instance, you in always the see the good in the bad, and like the same, not every relationship has to end in marriage, the important thing is that you have a good relationship, you learn from each other, you were able to, you know, add value to that person and as well to yourself. You get so we've come to the end i want to believe that you've learned something because one thing i am looking out for in every episode of my program is that my viewers get to learn something and i also i'm learning yes i am learning and how when you drop a comment yes so till i come your way again it's still talk with trisha and i am trisha please subscribe to this channel yes like 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 Subscribe and tell people about Uncle Trisha. It really means a lot to me.